The Iowa State Fair is now in full swing, and as the swine barn fills up, so do the concerns about a new strain of the H3N2 flu. This influenza strain that is uh, going around in pigs uh, can infect people. It's just like regular influenza. It's not any more virulent but it is uh, something to avoid. Dozens of people have been affected at state and county fairs in Ohio and Indiana, and that's prompting the CDC to issue a warning to fairgoers. So avoid touching the pigs, avoid touching the pens and the gates that, that the pigs can have contact with. Wash your hands, especially uh, young children, the elderly, pregnant ladies, or anyone who's immunocompromised should avoid contact with pigs. Right now, this strain of swine flu has spread from pigs to humans, but not directly from humans to other humans. It's like touching a doorknob during flu season. Uh, you can pick it up on your hands. Kids tend to put their hands in their mouth and their eyes. So be sure and wash hands and use hand sanitizer. Iowa State Fair officials do take several precautionary measures. At the State Fair, um, the pigs that arrive at the fair have to have a health certificate before they get there. And there's a full-time veterinary staff at the state fair that will be examining the pigs as they arrive. And because of this influenza concern, we'll be examining them closely every day. The symptoms in pigs are much like in people. They would have cough, uh, high fever, uh, they'd be lethargic, not very energetic. And when the uh, state fair veterinarians see that, I'm sure that they will uh, either quarantine the area or send those animals home if they start developing those symptoms. So if you're planning a visit to the swine barn at the state fair this year, remember to avoid touching the pigs and their pens. I'd say it's a, a low level of concern, but it is prudent to avoid contact with the pigs.